for all the people who have a tough time with curbs, these cameras will really help in maneuvering you know, where you're going and keeping you from scuffing your tires and even worse, your wheels. So definitely opt to get these camera systems if you can. One thing I just noticed too, when you're getting close to something, the seat does vibrate. So you do have that feature also. The parking brake. Oh, we're good to go. So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at a 2021 Chevy Tahoe. I did do a review on this Premier. So be sure to check out that video. Now for 2021, High Country, which is this trim level of this Tahoe, is new. And I got to tell you, this thing is on fire. I mean, the interior is definitely a little bit different from the Premier. And that's a good thing. And like I said, this has black interior, so that says a lot. Um, this Premier did have a lighter color interior, which is my favorite. It's more comfortable in the summertime. It's 93 degrees out here right now. So yeah, be sure to check out that video and let's jump into this one. All right guys, so before we get started, I want to show you guys the window sticker here. That way you have a better idea of the options and features. Now, as you guys saw, this is the High Country four-wheel drive. Gray wood metallic is the paint. This has a 6.2 liter and a 10 speed. Now, if you watched the previous video that I did on the other Tahoe, that one had the 5.3. So this price point is going to be reflective of that. Now, taking a look at the standard equipment here this is everything that's going to come standard on the tahoe and as you guys see it has the magnetic ride control it does have a mechanical limited slip differential also the 22 inch wheels do come standard on the premiere it is an option 10 speaker bose heads up display all that is standard 10 uh, inch diagonal high definition touchscreen is standard. CarPlay, all that good stuff comes on this thing also. And then it continues up top. And this is everything for the interior three zone climate control. You have the memory settings for driver seats, outside mirrors, and a steering column. LED headlights, all that's standard. And then dual exhaust with dual tips. And this is all your safety features here. And then this is going to be your base price at $72,600. If you want it to be cheap and try to cut costs on this high country, this is the one you want it, you still will have to pick a panoramic sunroof. I thought that would come standard on a top of the line, but it's not. Now, I will do a build on one of these maybe in the future to see if it does come with like a regular sunroof. Maybe that's why I'm a little upset because... I can't imagine them using two different sunroofs for this as opposed to just using this one. So you may not get a sunroof with this. Uh, but we'll see. I'll, I'll build one and let you guys know. But uh, the assist steps that are power retractable are actually a part of this package too. So if you want those, this is the package you're going to have to add to your car because this one's going to give you a lot of the good features there. Now, black aluminum front bow tie, $450. And then a reflective window shade. Now, up top here, Illuminated mirror with the Chevy emblems, 135. So this one does not have as many options as the Premier had, but total price for this one with destinations is $79,220. One thing to note, if you do get the 6.2, you are gonna lose a little bit of fuel economy. So just keep that in mind. One thing that you can tell about this high country that is probably a good thing for most people is the lack of chrome that they're using on the grill. Instead of chrome, they're using like a bright color here, but this is like a satin material and it goes well with the headlight design too. And of course with High Country, they have always used like this brownish goldish color and it goes well with the exterior paint. It probably would go well with white, black too. I mean, I, I think they would look nice actually. That does clean up the front end. It makes it look clean. That black bow tie finishes it off. It just looks so nice. Good job. And you guys can see those side vents here. The air flows through this to go around the tires. And it does have active grill shutters on the front end of this too. And it's gonna be built inside the grill. I'm not sure if you can see them from this point of view. I can see them, but you might not be able to see them in the camera. Front end looks great. LED headlights and high beam. They also give you an LED accent light for your daytime running lights. 
and this is going to kind of be pretty similar to your half ton Silverados too. Now moving off to the side you can tell they give you a bright high country emblem and you can clearly see that from even this distance. And again, this is top of the line, so they want everyone to know, hey, you got the top of the line Tahoe. You went all the way. I don't like these wheels, however. These wheels do not complement this design. I think they need to do something a little bit more cleaner. You've done a good job designing it. You don't need to go crazy on the wheels. And I don't like those chrome cladding that they put on there too. These are gonna be 22s, and they are gonna be wrapped in 275, 50, 22. And you can tell that this is slightly bigger than the previous Tahoe. And it's going to give you some 60% plus of rear cargo space over the outgoing. That's a good thing too. But check out this. This is going to be like a little bit more of a brighter color like, like that you saw on the grill. And even around the windows, it's a little bit brighter too. Of course, you have it on the roof rails also. I think it looks good it's not too much it's not like in your face it's like just right and on this one and i'll show this to you again in a second but you do have the power running boards having those it does really finish off the side of it too it makes it look a little bit more luxurious not having just a fixed running board i would definitely opt to have these instead of the fixed ones it's going to cost you more money but it, in the long run, it's more usable and it helps with the overall design. It has a quad exhaust system. It looks amazing. You do have a button right here that will pop the glass open. They hide away your windshield wiper to really clean up the design. And quite honestly, it gives them more space to give you more design on this tailgate also. So it kind of helps in two different ways. In order to close this, you will have to touch the glass. So I would like for them to put something here that you can kind of close it with like a plastic piece because this glass is hot. So you, you got to be careful when you're going to close this. They do give you a clear high mount stoplight. They hide the hitch for you. You don't have any handles back here. All you got to do is just push the button here for the tailgate. Now yesterday, the tailgate on this would not open. But on this one, it does. So... We'll go over that in a second too. Now one thing I did not like is that they use incandescent bulbs for your brake lights, turn signals, and your reverse lights. Now I think the reason why they did that was because you have the Cadillac Escalade and you have the GMC Yukon. And they can't make this one that much nicer than those. So I think that's why they did that. They do however give you accent lights that are LED. Not too many emblems out back. They just show you Tahoe on the Premier. There's just one extra one. Now, I want to point out something that I saw when I was walking down the hill. This does have independent rear suspension. The previous generations had like a single beam axle. So this should handle better and it should be a little bit more comfortable going down the road. But in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about this overall design. Now, if you want to unlock and lock the doors, you can do it on the front and rear doors. And I do like how this piece is black. It just kind of breaks up the color, especially on this darker brown color. It looks really nice. And as you guys see, you have a camera turn signal and you have a accent light just below the mirror. All right guys, so we're gonna drive the high country. Now, if you have not watched my last video, be sure to check it out. I'm going to compare the 6.2 to that 5.3. And so far, I'm going to compare these wheels too. So both of these did have the 22 inch wheels. I thought that the 22 rode well on the Premier. And I'm getting the same kind of feedback from these. It's a little bit more of like a, a bouncier ride with these thinner tires, I feel like. Um, I would like to see these with a 20 inch wheel. I think 22s are fine, but 20s are always going to ride better. You're going to have more sidewall. I do like how quiet this thing is at low speeds. Like you can't really hear anything on the outside. Like even there's a big 18 wheeler going by right now. I can hear it now that it's getting closer, but when he was accelerating, I couldn't hear it until he got closer. But I feel like the overall build quality is nice. There is some hard plastics that I'm seeing around the interior. Um, I do have that seat up here. I did say in the last video I was gonna put the seats up, so I'm gonna stop real quickly and do that. Hold on one second. 
And one thing I want you guys to see in the sun were these seats. I hope you guys can see that design. That is pretty nice. So this is like a mocha color and they have like an orange accent inside of the perforated part of the leather and it pops really nicely. Even the piping around the seat has a design on it. And yeah, it looks really amazing. And that design, it really matches like this color and then the color you saw on the grill. It's a pretty good attention to detail. All right, so stepping in on this one is gonna be a breeze. They do have the power steps, as you saw on the window sticker. Really easy to get in and out of. One thing I do notice is that this does not have a raised plastic piece here, so you don't have to lift your leg up and do exercises as you get in and out of your SUV. I like that. You already exercise enough, so you don't need to do it in your car. But I like the overall design. It's not as nice as the Premier because everything's black, and I like to have accent. I like to have tan black. It just goes really well. They do give you that nice wood trim piece. It is gonna be the same trim piece inside the Premier. So you gotta ask yourself a question. What about the high country is nicer to where you're gonna pay more money except for having a bigger engine? But this is all still a high quality vinyl. This is all high quality vinyl. You still have heads up display in each one. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out for myself which one I would get. And I'm starting to really lean towards the Premier. But as you guys see, I mean, the interior is still really nice. You know, you still have your parking brake. Everything's still the same here. You have your lane keep assist. It's unavailable because we're not driving. Traction control, parking sensors, downhill assist, your automatic stop start, and then your plugs that you have around the vehicle. You can turn those on and off. Four wheel drive system, you have, if you use this toggle, you do have different driving modes that you can choose. And you also have automatic headlights, trailer brake controller, and then for your heads up display, you can actually control that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It may not pick up that well on the camera, but you have a really large display for that. One thing I want to show you guys I forgot to do in the last video is this. So I normally have scatterbrain when I get out of my car. So because I'm not putting something in gear, this is a test for everyone that is like me. If you go to get out of your car, this thing will actually put put it in park for you. That is really cool. Like that is a huge saver because if you're like me and you just like to get out of your car and not put it in park, Chevy's already figured it out for you guys. And that's, that's really good. That's something that will save your life because some people have died from that. This is gonna be a 10 inch screen and it's really easy to use. I did not go over this. Maybe in the future I'll go back and go into detail, but I will show you most of the screens. Really nice, really responsive, very quick too. Whatever you're trying to go to, it's, it goes there quickly. It doesn't have to think about it. And love the colors, love how bright and high definition it does look. And one thing I noticed last time I didn't show you guys, it shows you what the gas prices are at the gas stations. Pretty cool touch to that. Climate control, you can control it here or down below. As far as the audio goes, you can control it up top or below. Heated and cooled seats. I'll be honest, I'm still trying to figure out if these things work because I haven't really noticed a difference since I've been sitting in both of these seats, but it's hot. It's like 100 degrees outside probably at this point. Um, I don't see where it shows the outside temperature. Maybe we go to climate, maybe it'll show it here. Yeah, it's 80, well it's showing 85, but it's definitely hotter than 85. I mean, it's, it's hot. Now I do like how they do give you leather on the side. They also give you leather just between the screen and your AC vents. Really nice touch. Now I'm, I'm really starting to like this. This is really upscale looking. I like how you just pull this. Those two you pull and these two you push. And if you like to lock in a gear, you can do that here. Now this does have a 10 speed transmission that you can see just below. I'm really pleased and impressed by this design. Like this is nice. I was impressed in 2014 when they redesigned the Tahoe and they just continue to set that bar a little bit higher for Ford and for whenever the Jeep Grand Wagoneer decides it wants to come out. This is a cool feature here. I showed it to you in the last video. There's a lot of different ways you can adjust this. My favorite is how you can lift, raise it or lower it. Really cool, I like that. And on the screen, 
you have different cameras you have nine different cameras around this thing and you can control this thing in so many different ways front and rear you can look at the back wheels you can look at the front wheels you can turn them that way you can kind of see where you're going if you're hooking up a trailer you can hook it up like that and you can turn on and off the bird's eye view too which is this camera really nice very clear high definition and yeah they did a good job on that now at the very top they do give you home link you do have leds inside the interior you can drop those rear seats and they give you three different uh buttons for your sunroof you do have the shade that slides and it does not stop so if you want to stop it you can but it just keeps sliding same thing goes when you're going to close it and if you would like to open up the slide feature here they'll open together so you don't have to necessarily open a shade to open this sunroof it'll do it all together for you and it's a pretty big open space too for the sunroof i mean that's pretty big for for a panoramic sunroof and everything's one touch now i did not mention it here your front windows are going to be auto up and down the rears are going to just be auto down going back up top here you do have your onstar up here too now if you would like to open your tailgate max or three quarters you can select that or you can just turn that completely off and this button is gonna turn on and off your dome lights if you're getting in and out of the car at night you don't want those lights on if your kids are sleeping that comes in pretty handy now i did the same illustration on the last one so be sure to check it out i did use this yeti cup this is a pretty big yeti i did know that it did not fit here it does fit these two cup holders so you have two and the front doors two in the center for up front you also have two back here that this fits in pretty nicely too a water bottle would fit here and out back you have one cup holder on this side and one on that side and it does fit in these cup holders believe it or not so I wanted to show that to you really quickly on this one. I figured out what that screen was. This is like for the front windshield, as I was talking about that screen. Um, this is pretty cool that they give it to you from the factory. It's gonna probably be a custom fit too. That's perfect. Now I brought this box here for illustrations. This is a 22 by 18 by 18 box. So see how tall it is with these open? Look how much space you have. Now I always call this a crush test because sometimes the doors will not close if you have something too big. So let's see if it'll close. Now they said that this was 60% more space back here. And as you guys can see, it swallowed the box. So you can get two of these boxes back here, no problem. So this figure, this is the size of about a, a medium to large size. Well, I would say this is a large size suitcase. So you probably can get two large suitcases back here. This is a large box. And yeah, look how wide it is. I mean, you still have space to get two of these boxes i can probably scoot that over just a little bit more yep let's see if it'll close like that nope it won't so maybe you can get one of these boxes in one medium sized box back here so right there it'll close perfectly so I'll just keep that in mind all right guys so i have the seats up now I forget that you have this high definition camera so you don't really need to look out back you just have to look at your mirrors and then out back here I mean if you want to look at your kids you have to look back but even looking back out the windows the headrests do intrude uh, your line of sight but if there's no one sitting in those seats the headrests do flop down so you should get a little bit more visibility but this high definition camera it does the trick guys it, perfect actually let's see oh yeah Th this has more power you can easily tell I mean this is 355 versus 420 horsepower um, I don't know the torque numbers I'll be honest I have to show it to you here but this one feels heavier too it feels a little bit more secure I don't know why it has the same suspension there's no air suspension need the one of ones I've driven 
I can't wait to do a review on an air suspension because I would like to see how, how well it handles. But if it was me and my money, I think I would skip the 6.2 and go straight for the 5.3 just because I feel like this doesn't have as much performance that I would want to justify spending my money. We're going to get on the interstate now. I'm going to really get a good feel for the acceleration here. Brakes, as I mentioned before, are really good. Really tight. You don't have to push far either. It, it, they will bite as soon as you touch them. Alright, so here we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it definitely does have 80. So I'm doing 80 now. It definitely does feel faster, for sure. But it's not enough for me to justify spending more money. I mean, if I haven't spent three or four thousand dollars for that, and you're gonna get worse fuel economy, I would definitely stick with the 5.3. I don't think there's a big difference. Now that diesel is gonna probably be the true test to see which one does better. But overall, I'm not really seeing a dramatic difference in the performance. But really comfortable. This has the lane keep assist, so yep, it's it's, it's definitely keeping me in my lane. Wow, yeah, it's definitely uh, turning the steering wheel. I would definitely recommend taking a look at this before you buy something else. I mean, I strongly recommend this, especially if you're going to tow a trailer. I'll show you guys the numbers as I always do on my on my reviews. And Chevy does something special. They give you the actual tongue weight limitation, and they give you the limitation for the towing capacity on the door. Because this is going to have a lower towing capacity than the Premier because this is slightly heavier because of the um, engine that it's using. But overall, handles well, brakes are great, and because of this high definition rear view, visibility is perfect. You can't get much better than this. I am six foot tall, and when I walk under this tailgate, I probably have about probably like another five inches before my head would hit. So this door goes up pretty tall, so you might need to use that three quarter depending on where you are. But as you guys can see, you have a ton of space back here. Just using that box as an illustration. And they give you some storage. You can probably put a blanket under here, maybe some bottled waters if you're traveling. 60, 40 bench seat. And if you want, you have buttons to put the seats down. Standing goes for those. I mean, that's easy. That took, what, 10 seconds? That's nothing. And they do give you the Type-C USBs on both sides for the third row. You do have two just below. Heated seats in the second chair. And you have a plug just below down where you see the climate ad. The overall interior design in this SUV is really nice. And there's no exception to the second row occupants either. They still give you really nice wood trim, leather here, high quality vinyl satin material on the doors really nice really top notch now this seat is really easy to get up i just pull from the side here easy to do with one hand holding a camera you can drop that seat down and you can slide it front and back now if you want to recline it let's see where that feature is i did it in the last video and i'm having a brain fart here so if you want to recline it you have to pull this lever up as opposed to pushing it down and it will recline the seat and it's enough to make me have a nice nap on a four or five hour trip i could take a good nap back here and you can choose whether you want your kids close to you or further away from you i choose the latter and in terms of just features they still give you led lights out back even into the rear and even into the cargo area really nice now there's a lot of hard plastic back in here so just keep that in mind if you do want to put your smaller kids back here they're going to probably spill things that's perfect place to be and it's easy to get to them because you have a walkway through here too your climate control is just below and like as i mentioned you have heated seats down here but overall guys i like this design and yeah i'm really really excited to see how well this is received in the marketplace how well they do on sales i think they really did hit it out of the park they do give you the lock and unlock buttons, however, on this door. Not really sure what I think about that. I'm sure you can probably turn these off or disable them. Or if you're driving, you probably can't control them since you would have smaller kids back here hitting buttons. And I, I do like the high country. I think the Premier would be 
better for me though so again i hope this was helpful guys thank you so much for watching this video um, if you haven't done so yet be sure to like and subscribe to the channel i really do want to start doing more videos for you guys on different brands and in order for me to do that i really really need you guys to push that like button subscribe to the channel so that way when i go into stores i can get more done because people do want to see you have a big following before they let you get keys to 70 80 000 on a car so just keep that in mind but again thank you guys so much for your support over these years I'm trying to get to 20,000. so help me get there and i will see you guys soon